Moving into this section of the console, we have one channel strip here and the same exact channel strip over on this side of the console. What this is, is the controls for those input channels. At the top, we have the channel safes that we can engage per channel. Right beneath that, we have high pass and low pass filtering. Turn them on to engage, and then we can see that follows in the GUI as well. On this side of it is our other gain stage, so this can either be controlling our analog headamp gain or our digital trim via what we have selected in the gain swap. There's also a check button, which allows us to check our card slot configured I.O. boxes by what channel we're selecting on. If I depress that check button, it will flash a green LED at the back of our I.O. box as well. Right beneath it, there's a processing order. We can switch our processing order of the channel strip to go from EQ, insert, dynamic, or by default, dynamic, insert, EQ. Using the touch sensitivity, I can navigate to the second part down, or I could use the little clear button to navigate to this. These work straight across with the input strips as well. This is the controls for our comp, and if I scroll down, these are the controls for our gates. The mode button allows me to quickly go through all five styles of compressors on the channel strip. There is a knee function as well, and a button that gives me three different knees to the compressor settings. Below that is my sidechain options. I have a listen button that I can plug in my headphones and basically solo right to the compressor level to tell what the color of the compressor I am using by scrolling through the different modelings. Beneath that, I can get into frequency dynamics as well. So by gauging the N, I can now scroll through frequencies for certain frequencies to be compressed more, or if I'm on the gate section, for those frequencies to open the gate faster. Three different styles of width, a wide, a medium, and a narrow. That's where the key listen button is, so I can solo at the dynamic level to either listen directly to what the gate is doing or directly to what the dynamic is doing without soloing the entire channel to listen. This is the parametric EQ section of the console. Once I engage the parametric EQ on the desk, I can use these buttons to get to the treble, high mid, low mid, and bass sections of the parametric EQ. I also have the up and down scroll arrows that will do the same exact thing. On the top band of the EQ, I have a shape button. This allows me to get to different style shelving filters available on the console. If I scroll to the bottom band, the shape filter again will give me three different styles of filters available. Beneath that is my master section. I have my SIS button for the channel, which allows me to open my image into an LCRS system from a left or right back into the center. Stereo busing to take that input channel and go directly to my left rights. And a mono send where this becomes the level of the mono send to my mono bus right next to the left and right. Beneath that, it's gonna give me an LED screen that's going to tell me what I'm working on, whether it's an input channel, an aux, an output. It's gonna give me the channel number and I can scroll through my inputs or outputs one by one right there, left and right. Beneath that on the Pro 3, 6, and 9, I have an input channel select device that shows me where my last channel selected was and if I scroll away from it, I can hit the align button to get it back into view. The next bit would be this channel select section that is a, basically a keypad. This will allow me to type in a channel, the type of channel, and hit enter and bring that into view on the desk. I can do that for inputs, aux returns, aux sends, matrices, and my master faders. This is also where I could set up through my preferences, star one, star two, and star three to be different advanced navigation controls on the console. To the right of the input channel strip, you have your knob contributions to all your auxes and matrices. It's gonna give you the knob for the contribution level to the aux or matrice you're on, and an on and a pre button right next to that. At the bottom of the channel strip, 
for the aux contributions or matrix contributions. You have this little LCD that's gonna read out one through eight. If I scroll by eight down, nine through 16. Then it'll change in the screen reading matrix one through eight and then nine through 16. I can also scroll by one on the other side that will illuminate the knob that I wanna go to work on. So matrix 14, illuminated, on, pre, up. Thank you for watching our videos. Make sure you check them all out. I'm Kyle with Midas. Thank you for watching Music Group TV.